Hi, I'm Nick Howard and I'm a partner at Empire Engineering. Welcome to Flipchart Friday. Today I'm going to be talking about TP-less foundations. So, to start, I'd like to give it a bit of a history lesson into foundations. Now, back in the olden days of offshore wind, when installation tolerances weren't what they are today, we had to have a system that allowed us to correct these tolerances offshore. So, we used a grouted connection. This was a, uh, a connection made between transition piece and monopile, where the annulus between the two was filled with grout. Now, in practice, this didn't work particularly well, as cracking was often observed when the grout went into tension. To get over this, the bolted flange was adopted. This is where a teepee was connected to a monopile using bolts. Now, this certainly alleviated the problem of cracking within the grout, but brought its own problems. As turbine loads increase and water depths got deeper, the loads induced into this connection also increased. This meant diameters had to go up, number of bolts had to go up, bolt diameters had to increase, and all in all, the whole system became more complicated and more difficult to manufacture. Getting the tolerances right is a particular challenge. Now, one solution that's come about as a, a way out of this and allows the industry to continue growing with, with bigger turbines is the TP-less foundation. And this simply means that the TP is entirely skipped. The monopile is driven into the ground and the connection to the tower is made at the top. It's perhaps the most obvious solution, but it comes with its own challenges. For example, because the foundation is driven, it means that all the secondary steel has to be installed offshore. Things like boat landings and external platforms are separate lifts. This drives up the cost of installation. However, there are cost savings. There's uh, the capex saving, so your upfront cost. There's no need for costly fabrication with flanges or difficult grouting operations offshore. And there's also the saving over the lifetime of the asset. There's no need to go back and inspect or retork or retention bolts. So it gives continued savings all the way through. Now, there are also difficulties associated with the vessels. Obviously, the structure is now much longer. It spans all the way from pile tow up to the interface with the tower. So that reduces the availability of vessels. You need vessels that have uh, a larger crane capacity, but also the uh, ability to carry that additional length. Hopefully that gives you an introduction to TP-less foundations and some of the pros and cons associated with them. Thank you very much and until next time.